Hey there, everybody. This is Magnum Pi. I'm here with Teku, Golgotha, Vahilo, and Tark Templar, and we are Initiative Zero. So glad you join us again for Rifts, the Devouring Swarm, where we um, continue to... Where we continue to just screw up basic activities. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good fun. Yeah, it's no, it's Rifts nostalgia, right? It's the, uh, the uh, Palladium Rules... It's the first two source books. Loads of fun. And uh, yeah, how are you guys doing? Good. It's been raining constantly, which is good. We need it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't mind yeah, the we rain. We use it. Yeah, yeah, you guys are hotter than hell. Yeah. Or at least have been. Is it still yeah. bad? Oh, yeah. No, it's been brutal. Ours is coming next week, though. Is it? Yeah, it's going to be It's going to be cooking. Well, um, when we last left, you guys had been left let out of prison, essentially, uh, charged with two things, fixing uh, Meza's house, I guess. That's Gotrick and Cade putting their uh, constructive abilities to use. And the rest of you have been charged with finding James T. in Portland, having a bit more of a weighty uh, reason to do so, which is, of course, to spare his own life. It's life for life, says Mez. And that's kind of where we were. You guys were in a tavern, um, kind of just trading your stories of, of your individual hearings. Uh, you noted that the Psy Stalkers were not present. People said they, they saw them leave. And, uh, and then Senate had a vision of, of people uh, in duress and... Gautra kind of identified it, or people in the par kind of identified it as the place, uh, one of the, um, the the guy that owns the sawmill just outside of town. And you had decided to go and, um, yeah, head out. You sent Cade back to talk to uh, Frommeline and tell him that that's where you guys were going to go. And so, yeah, that's where we begin. You guys are outside the tavern. Uh, Portland, I'm assuming you downed the drink that you were just sipping. Yep. Cool. All right. That's better. Um, Godrich, which direction do we need to go in? Um, I'm going to... Uh, would I know what direction they need to go in? Oh, yeah. You know where the Miller's place is. Yeah. Okay. So can I just point them in the right direction? Of course. It's that way. All right. Um, let's head it. How far about? How far is it? No, it might take you maybe ten minutes uh, moving quickly through town to get there on foot. What if I run? <laughs> then nobody will catch you. <laughs> then you will get there first. Then you're going to have to kind of tank that fight yourself, I guess. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on my armor and I'm going to run. All right. Life in, is in the balance. In the streets, you activate your armor. So, uh, Senate Portland Godric, you see Sir Luke uh, touch a tattoo on his forearm and, uh, and a glowing, shimmering field of force surrounds his body. And he looks like he's going to run. Anything you guys want to do? Um. Uh do my best to keep up, I guess. Well, initially, initially, I was thinking of being like uh, that one kid in the movie Hook, where he just kind of makes himself into a ball and rolls down the ramp. Oh yeah, there you go. I was like, I wonder if I could make myself into a ball and just have like, you know, Sir Luke just roll me. Okay, let's run. All right. Um, so uh, you you are making your way through uh, town. You're you are not at all stealthy or unnoticed. Um, no. People are seeing you run through the streets, Gotrick screaming, go left, go left, <laughs> right? And <laughs> and things like that. As Screaming you, direction. Yeah. As you run through uh, things, uh, you know, you'll, you barely topple over certain things. It is snowy still as well, right? Don't forget it's cold and snowy oh, yeah, out here. Yeah. Um, those of you that were in environmental armor before might be a little chilled, um, <clears throat> as you make your way through the, the streets without, uh, much winter clothing on or anything like that. 
and uh, eventually the streets. The running keeps me warm. Yeah. So uh, the the buildings kind of uh, start to become more sparse. It's not like they were extremely dense before. It's just a small town. But uh, you leave the main center of town and move to the west end. That's where the stream comes uh, out of town. Um, you see a, a chimney and you can see a, uh, a sort of a, an electric generator box out back so that while the stream is frozen in the winter, they are still able to run the mill. And yeah, that's where that's where you see how far off do you want to possibly slow down and there. Uh, once I, once we once we see it, and we're within walking like a short walking distance or medium walking distance. All right. So where to? What are you doing? Give Let's me a go plan. to the front door. Go to the front door, knock on it, and. Well, See we're th- okay. So instead of that, okay. I can tell you there's something awful going on inside. Has it already happened? Uh, I think so. I get that impression. Well, you don't know if it's already happened or about to happen. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, no. I Let's go faster then. I have a suggestion. <laughs> Why don't you go in and check, and, and if anything's bad, give me a sign. Because I'm not wearing armor, and I don't oh, want to get God, shot. Oh, God, no, no, we're not giving any more signs. Well, how do I know if you're in trouble? Just come with us. Follow, you want me follow, in the front? I'm the squishy one. No, follow no, Gotrich's go lead. Behind, how about that? Go. I will be in front. That's fine. Let's, let's go, quick. There's might be There might be danger and people getting harmed. Okay. And this talking is just not helping. So you I'm going to go to the front door. I have, a, I, have a, I have another idea. Why don't I use you, because you're so gigantic, as camouflage? I told you to hide behind me, so yes. Yeah, so as he does that, I'm going to jump onto his back. and like Get off my back, star, Jesus! And, star, and starfish around his gigantic back so that no one can actually see me unless he turns around or goes sideways. No. 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 Dude, this is like the perfect happening. thing. This bad voice for life right here. I, I I'm, su- I'm surprised that you, I'm surprised that you don't go invisible while you're doing that, so only he can feel that you're there. That's it. But nobody else can see you. I slough you know him what, off. I, I love your thinking. I'm I slough him off. I, I, he's not staying on my back. He's yeah, he was. Yeah. That, that was that was my thinking as Vahiro, not as Doctor. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I want to go invisible. Okay, you would have to cast I'm, the spell, which would mean you would need your hands free to do that. I will use. I will free my hands and I will cast that spell. Alright, okay, he begins to cast the spell. Gotrick or sorry, Sir Luke, you slough him off. Um you don't lose the PPE, but the spell does not cast as you land on the ground. And uh you can pick yourself up, cast the spell if you want. But um knocking on the door. Okay, before you do that, Gotrick Senate, anything you wanted to do? Uh, um, I, I just want to look for areas to take cover because I don't have a weapon or armor. Yeah, so um, there are some trees uh, in, kind of on the path leading up to the miller's house and the mill. And um, oh. yeah, you've got... Uh, yeah, you can hide behind one of those. You can hide behind a snowdrift if you wanted to. Um, it is cold. You're starting to, you know, you're rubbing your hands together. You got the, the breath coming out of your mouth, right? So it's, it's chilly out here. I'm going to say to Portland, sticking him to the ground is a great start. Please don't throw any more rocks right away. We need him intact. And the other people in there are seemingly innocent. And we are also us, and therefore don't warrant extra rocks. We're good at zero. Dude, my accuracy is, like, on point. Yeah, the accuracy is not what's in question. Good. It's the discretion. So don't worry about the accuracy, then. It's the discretion. So I should Senate. Go what you're saying. Senate, can you, this thing's, he's electronic, can you, like, turn him off? I don't know. Well, we'll find out. So we need him intact. 
And then I'm going to kind of nod at the door and at Luke and at the door and then back at Luke and then... Yeah, knocking in the door. All oh, right. We're going we're gonna to knock. Okay. I am not invisible, just so you know, for the record. Yeah, you were starfished no... on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you you may have dusted yourself off, possibly. I don't know if you're laying in the no, snow. No, I assume but... the conversation happened that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you're yeah. laying in the snow, you're going to get cold ground. pretty quick. All Fair right. Enough. I will get up from the snow. All right. So, um, yeah, there you are. And you knock on the door. Do I hear anything inside? Uh, you guys can, anybody that's at the door can give me a perception check. Perception check. With a 15, uh, Luke. Whew. And a 21 Ooh. Senate. Um, I hear all of the noise. Yeah, let's just take a quick mice. look. Yeah, you can hear every little thing. Let's see. Standard perception difficulties. Um, yeah, 14 or better is what we're looking for here. So. <clears throat> So yeah, Sir Luke and Senate, you guys, you guys hear something shuffling about inside. Does it sound mechanical? It's hard to say. You're on the other side of a door. You just hear the sound of something moving around in there. Does it sound like it's coming towards the door? Again, you don't have that much accuracy in your, in your perception. You just do hear something through a door, not with your ear pressed to it, but just just that you can you can barely make it out something's moving around in there I'm kicking it open all right cool uh well how much damage do you do from a uh a kick uh, what's your what's your physical eight. strength damage bonus oh wait you physical have you have like a ridiculous strength don't you yeah, and uh, my strength is uh, 36. But you have an augmented power attack. Oh, yes. I so, do have an augmented power attack. Okay, yes. so yeah, if you wind up and kick, you're going to kick the door right in. Yeah, no problem. Don't even worry about rolling anything. Boom. You kick the door open, and uh, it swings wide. Um, it barely stays on its hinge and uh, slams into whatever's on the other side of the door there. And... Uh, what you see in here is uh, uh, the place has been a little bit overturned and such. Um, there is some blood on the floor, although it looks uh, like it has been kind of wiped up a little bit. Um, yeah, you don't have any. Uh, you don't have any sign of anybody really. Uh, one sec. Yeah, uh, anybody in here, you do see that uh, kind of the blood is somewhat smeared uh, in a, in another direction in the bill in the room here. I kind of motioned to uh, Senate. Sorry, and... I'll give you. A, there's there's a table. There's chairs. There's um, there's some there's a fireplace in here with. Uh, two chairs that are kind of angled toward the fireplace. Uh, there's also a kind of an eating area um, to the left behind the door is a place to hang coats and put boots. Um, uh, there seems to be a passageway going to the right, which you would be would presumptuous to uh, not presumptuous to say is the kitchen, given its location close to the dining area. Another two um, passageways uh one to the left off of the main like sitting area fireplace area and one to the right the blood smears seem to go off to the one on the right well i'm gonna go in that direction are there any other exits that are obvious no but from the outside this this living area is attached to the mill which is actually located through that you would you would 
guessed through the passage to the right. Mm-hmm. Um, there probably is another exit or entrance on the mill side, but as you didn't kind of do a, you know, a perimeter around the building, you don't know for sure. I will follow Sir Luke. And Sir Luke, you're going? In the direction where I see the blood being smeared. Okay. Portland and Gotrick, you guys see uh, both. Well, you see Sir Luke kick and hear Sir Luke kick open the door. Uh, Both he and Senate make their way inside after a brief pause. Anything from the two of you? Um, Do I see this blood smear? You said you were outside kind of behind a tree or a snow drift. No, I, I... I just wanted to look like if we opened the door and something started coming at us, I wanted to have cover that I could go to. I didn't want to go and hide there. Oh, sorry. That's okay. kind of what I was getting at. So you went up with Sir Luke and Senate then? Yeah. Okay. So then, yeah, if you're at the door, uh, you had your chance to peer in as well. Do you follow Senate and Sir Luke as they go in? Um, where's Where is this? Like this blood smear is going into that area. Where is it coming from? Here, I'll just give a quick drawing here. So, that is the entrance area there, and there's a way through on that side, and a way through on this side, as well as a way through here. You guys are at the entrance down this way, so here I have... Gotrick, Luke, and Senate, and back here somewhere is Portland. Um, <clears throat> the door is kind of open like this now. Uh, there's two chairs sitting angled toward the fireplace, which is on the wall there. Here is a dining area. And, yeah, the blood is... There's kind of a a wiped up pool here that's smeared in that direction. So it's not... So the blood, like the blood originates in that room. Yeah. It's not like it's kind of coming from outside and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I just do a walk around. I don't want to go inside. Okay. You start to make your way around just to give the additional dimensions here. There's a and if if they're if they're going sorry if they're going to the right, um, kind of following that blood, I want to go in a counterclockwise direction. Okay. So, so kind of the same direction that they went, but outside. Yeah. Oh, don't need that either. All right. So here we go. So there's a an additional room over here, and there's. Um, that's kind of what the outer perimeter looks like there, and you and you then are going kind of in this direction because they're going. Uh, no, I'm going in. You said if they were going following this, that, you would go the opposite. No. No, I go the same. So I oh. want to go in a counterclockwise direction. Oh, I see. So gotcha. I want to go like this way. Yeah, gotcha. Cool. All right. Yeah. So you begin to walk around there. Uh, the windows on this side of the building uh, look into a kitchen here with a wall that uh, you know separates the kitchen area from the mill area, which is at the back. Um, you're moving that way, Portland. Anything? At this point. I am going to go invisible because I see the blood when I kind of walk in. Uh, yeah, if you're up there, you're following Sir Luke and Port and uh, Senate. Well, I'm not following them in their completely in their direction. I think we went to this room on the left. Okay. Cool. So Portland's going that way. Luke and Senate following the blood. And Golgi, or sorry, not Golgi, but Gotrick, going in this direction. Cool. 
All right. And maybe we'll do this just to see if that helps. That's the mill. That is, did I lose? No, I didn't lose anybody. Okay. Let's do that. There we go. Just to give everybody a, a bit of background to it. There we go. So you guys are moving toward the mill area. Yeah. Which is over here. All right. So, um, yeah. We'll as, I'm walk as I'm walking, we're walking with the liberation, but also quietly so that we could pick up any, any, any sounds. Okay. So that means you'll want to prowl if you have prowl. All right. Senate, are you also prowling if you have prowl? Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Let's see if I can actually do it. How about Portland? Are you, are you going to be prowling? No. I'm not so good with the rolls, but let's see if I do it. Oh, well, son of a gun. I actually made a roll. Wow, that's unusual. I know. Spectacular stats and I suck usually. Wow, Senate also is exceeding. What's going on? Nice. I know. It feels Godric, weird. you don't have prowl, I don't think. But No, we're, we're prowling into the uh, wrong room. Hey, that's hey, why it's working. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah. Well, I do not have prowl, so I'm just trucking through the canal. Well, you can... <laughs> You can try to be quiet. It doesn't mean you succeed. That's all. Okay. Yeah. So you're moving through the snow. I mean, you're, you're, it's slow going because you're basically moving into an unshoveled area, right? And you're, you're short. So you're pushing through snow. I mean, snow. I could, I could go around and dig a tunnel to get around there. <laughs> that would be quiet. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. How many, uh, how many feet would I be moving? I don't know. What's your dig rate? <laughs> where's my Where's my dig rate? <laughs> it can't be better than Lex. If he's better than Lex, that's... I doubt it. All right. So, so Luke and Senate, you guys are uh, moving into this area here. And... Yeah, this area is the mill. Um... There are, there are exits. Um, there's a rather large exit on the back end here, which is where they would bring in. Where they would bring in um, lumber. lumber and things like that. So it's, t it's a large kind of rolling sliding door sort of thing. There's also, um, there's also a an exit here, and there's some windows as well. Put some windows here. Are any of the windows open? No. It's winter, but I guess okay. fair question though. You know, um, if somebody's trying to get out, yeah. Yeah, and uh, over on on this uh, side, the mill equipment is kind of over here where they process the the wood and the like we see any the direction the the blood is uh being dragged still uh yeah well the the blood is being dragged here and what you see in this contraption here um are a lot of bloody saw blades and the like i'll look over at portland not Portland at uh, Senate and kind of, I think we both know what likely happened. And we're sure that the blood is leading to the blades. Uh, that's, that's kind of the, I mean, it, it could, I guess, go the other way that something was put there and bloodied and then dragged out into the, but into the, the middle of that. that we found house. It, yeah. Well, the, we didn't find anything when we first walked in. So presumably, the object in question would have been dragged the other way. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's no 
bloody trail from that point? Uh, no, although there is blood kind of speckled and splattered around on the wall behind it and things like that. Yeah. Um, oh, clairvoyance takes like 1d6 minutes, but it is kind of perfect for this. Uh, I'll look at Luke and say, do the best you can, look around. I'm going to try and get this off as quick as I can. Um, if you need me, shout, and I will be there. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, so, do you, you want to take this room, then? I'm going to take this the psychic approach, and I'm going to kind of, like, sit cross-legged quite abruptly, and then... Before you do that, do you, do you want me to look at the other, other, other rooms, then? Just do your best, look around. Okay, well, I mean, I'll look around in here first, okay? All right, and there are piles of, of processed wood on either side. So over here and over here, right? Um, so if there's, if, if there's processed wood, there means that there's there might be sawdust, right? Yeah, oh, there's sawdust all over the place, yeah. Do I notice any anything, any, any disturbance in the sawdust, like something's been moving through? Uh, things have certainly moved through, uh, yeah, the sawdust and stuff like that. They've been moved uh, toward the side door toward the back door. And I'm going to check the doors. Okay. I'm going to check the doors to see if they're open or locked. Cool. All right. Gotrick, you continue along. Uh, you make your way to the corner. You can see that, um, that there is, uh, yeah, there's, uh, basically a pathway here leading away from the door on the side. Um, you can give me a perception check, please. Nice. That's pretty solid. Yeah, uh, you see, um, every once in a while, little speckles of of reddish brown on the snow. Not not like big blotches, but there's a, you know, a, a speckle here and a speckle there. Um, yeah, it's all pretty packed down from traffic and stuff like that. Once you would get over there. So it's, uh, yeah, it's not, uh, you know, it's not like it's fresh snow or anything like that. But uh, where you're at is kind of drifted around the, the establishment, the building. All right. And we go on to Portland, who comes to this room here. Uh, do you want to do anything before you walk through the threshold of that room, or do you just walk it in? Just walk it in. Okay. You walk in, and um, yeah, there seems to be a uh, person in a bed uh, with the covers pulled up. Uh, seems to be asleep. Um, covers are pulled up quite high. Do I see the chest like rising and falling? Uh, it looks like they're laying on their side with their back to you. So um, you could. Uh, you could take a give me a perception check to see if you notice that. Sure. Just one will do, but that's. I'll take the first yes. one. Uh, you don't. Yeah, you don't notice it rising or falling. Like the person doesn't look like they're breathing, but they seem to be under a large number of of heavy blankets and stuff. You do see the person's so head resting on the pillow. Dark hair, long dark hair. Yeah. Uh, right. so you you'd think uh, it's a woman. So we just kicked down a, in my head. We just kicked down a door. Oh, you made a lot of noise coming in. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of noise. This person did not wake up. No. Nope. Which seems very, as the kids would say it nowadays, sus. Well, I was, knew that. I knew it. <laughs> Way to go. Um, I'm going to uh, walk over to this person who is, air quotes, sleeping on their side here. With yeah. The, with the covers completely to their head. Mm hmm You walk up to the side of the bed. Better, yeah, to get a better look. Okay. Um, uh, it's definitely uh, a woman. Her face is away. Or do you want to interact with the... in any way, or just kind of peer, leaning over? I want to grab, like, a mirror. 
and All right, like you can hover it over her face to see whether her breath makes like. Okay, you can more. you can look around the room to see if there's a mirror in here. Um, yeah. there's, there's certainly like a, a vanity sort of mirror, but that's rather large, right? But a hand mirror of some sort. You can you can kind sure. of look around for I'll something like that. Mini hand mirror and. Do you, do you have one on you, or are you you're gonna look around for something like that? Oh, I don't have one on me. Yeah, like, okay. Even if, even if there's anything like a metallic, like yeah, you're flame looking. Or yeah, you're looking for something reflective in here that you can hold in your hand. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it'll just take it'll just take some. Yeah, you're gonna have to go kind of root through the drawers and stuff like that to find one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. And uh, I'm not even gonna be like careful about it. I'm really just gonna open it and close it or not even i'm just gonna open it not even like carefully just open it and see what i can rummage around yeah so you're just literally slamming the drawer open digging around through it nah not in there slam right so you're yeah i got you sure yeah i'm gonna make some noise because i want to see whether this person like if, I, if this person gets up then yeah it makes sense but if this person doesn't even hear this fucking shit then that's a problem right yeah yeah i hear you it's very purposeful yeah so we'll just drag you over to this side where we'll say is kind of a a bit of a vanity um it, it definitely looks like a bedroom that's uh that's had by a couple right there's kind of a his and hers side right um you you aim for the the mirrored vanity that uh could very well have a handheld mirror um and start rummaging through loudly senate and luke you you hear this um and uh yeah not like we're like destroying this room, just so you know. No, I know you're making noise as you're rummaging, but you're you're doing it yeah, loudly. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's yeah. not like there's a lot of other noise going on. Right. Okay. Just, yeah. Just want me to have to clear really like fucking Godzilla through this goddamn thing or something. Like that. No, yeah. but you're not being quiet about it either. I mean, I could I could hear my own family rooting through stuff two floors up if they were doing it loudly, right? So good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Not yeah. Not excessive. You're not overturning stuff, but you're slamming okay. a drawer and you know jingling through things yeah cool uh the person in the bed does not appear to be moving or anything like that as you do that great all right um uh well you're gonna spend the time rummaging and looking yeah, so we'll jump back to uh senate you wanted to use clairvoyance you said yep okay and uh what is it that you're trying to do exactly uh the direction that they fled okay hmm yeah so i'm gonna say you you generally get the bad feeling that uh and again bad doesn't mean that something bad is going to happen to you you get a bad feeling about what you're gonna find in this mill place, right? In this, the, nothing good is going to be found here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, particularly focused over on this uh, exit here. As you know, that's uh, going that way will will help you find something you you don't want to see, essentially. Um. All right, well, I will stand and begin moving toward the door, looking over at Sir Luke just to see what he's yeah, picked he's, up, if anything. He's looking around. He's checking the windows. Up, be up that way toward the main door, wood piles and things like yeah. that. Yeah, Senate starts to beeline for the other door. Gotrick, you're, heading, look over. you're heading up toward the toward the pathway there, or what? So, um, yeah, I was actually going to ask if, uh, if Sir Luke was opening that door if uh if i'd be able to see him but i'm no, assuming I'm that i'm gonna see, I, I assume that i'm gonna see senate opening that door uh yeah eventually. And I, was, I wasn't opening i wasn't opening doors i was just checking to see if things were locked still yeah but you're you're making your way in that direction though yeah okay yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going up towards that area yeah and luke you're digging around still you said you did you want to say something or no i was just looking to see what uh what senate was doing and if he's moving towards the door with some you know, De determination. You know, yeah. Determination. Then I'm going to as well. Okay. I know him well enough by this point to know that he's doing that. There's something. All right. 
Yeah, and you guys move a lot faster than Godric. Okay, Portland, you find a hand mirror in one of the drawers. Yep. Okay, what would you like to do? Put it, like, around the, the person's face to see whether they're breathing or not. Okay, so you just kind of are holding it close to their mouth, like reaching over. Or do you want to walk yeah, up to? Do you want to walk up to her, the front of her face, or do you want to still stay behind her? I still want to stay behind okay. her. Okay, so you walk back up to the back of her body, lean over and dangle the mirror in front of her face, hoping that it steams up. Or right. do you want to? Or you want to see what's in the mirror? Both. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna put a bed in here. A what now? A oh, bed. bed. Yeah, just to give. Some accoutrement to this. There we go. Actually, you know what? I have a a uh, ability that allows me to suspend things in air. I think. Oh no. <laughs> what? What's the matter with that? I'm I'm really well, worried I, about what you're about to do here. <laughs> I was thinking the mirror is already going to be suspended in air because you're invisible. So it's just going to be a floating I'm, mirror. I'm not worried that he's suspending the mirror. Oh, God. I just thought, no, no, he would, yeah. no, 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 yeah, no. I'm, I worry about these things. He would, no, he wouldn't, he wouldn't. That's a lot of insanity rules to me. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, no. What do you think I'm going to do here? I worry, okay? Human marionettes. Don't. Oh, do weekends weekend at, at Bernie's. <laughs> weekend at Bernie's. So. Please do not. Yes. Weekend at Bernie's, the evidence. Oh, dear God. Anyways. Romaline's going to show up as you're doing that and just be like, what <laughs> the fuck? Anyways. Do I see breath? I'm not going to make it float because you make a good point there. Okay. So you hold the mirror in front. Um, yeah. What you see are uh, two things. One, there is no steaming of the mirror, so you can see the reflection clearly. You also see her her eyes staring back at you in the mirror. Is she like having a creepy smile or some shit? No. Mouth gaped open. Uh, her hair is kind of draped in front of her her face a little bit as well. But you can see the through the strands, her eyes are looking... Is she very pale too? Do I see her face? Is she very, very pale? Uh, kind of a pale blue. Kind of a pale blue. <clears throat> okay, well, I'll be like, well, she did. Guess she won't be needing this blanket though. Is that a really nice blanket? Just curious. That's, it's a handmade, uh, heavy knit blanket, yeah. There's also okay. some sheets that she's under. Looks like she was tucked in. Tucked in. All right. So I know she dead. All right. Whatever. I'm gonna uh, just take a stroll right back through the other room. Be like, uh, "Hey guys, found a dead person." Okay. And there's no guys to. You just walk out this way, and yeah, uh, like, guys. Yeah. Exclaim it. Guys. Okay. You guys can hear Portland calling out. Found a dead person. Yeah, that's not exactly a surprise at this point, so I don't even necessarily respond. We're focused on the person who caused the death, and I have an idea who it might be. I hmm. can't hear that conversation. I'm also trying yeah. to be sneaky, so. And there's no one in this room. I'm not going to respond to your inner monologue. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, uh, I just said guys, and no one said anything. I'm in a room by myself. Oh no! What? The spiral what starting. I can feel it already. Problem. Just trying to stay in character, okay? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, the, see, that's that's the problem. <laughs> An invisible guy shouting "guys" and then getting distracted. Like that's. Yeah, when I when I say "Hey guys," dead the uh, dead person here, or I was, uh, whatever I just said, and I get nothing in this room besides the cold shiver of silence. A little voice is going to be uh, uh, speaking to my head. No, no, no. It's going to be like, see? No. How long is your six seconds, by the way? <laughs> they left you. Like, All right. 
cool the paranoia kicks in yep absolutely all right cool senate you stand at the door Ugh. all right so as i approach i'm going to attempt to steal myself going as far as to actually use suppress fear despite the fact that it probably won't give any mechanical benefits uh it'll prevent horror factor if you actually spend the points yeah, no, I am absolutely going to spend the points. I don't expect to need to spend the points, but it's absolutely a thing that I think is a reasonable thing to do here, given the house of horrors that we find ourselves in. And then I will open the door. All right. You... And I will I will push it open without, like, walking in so much. Okay, well, it opens inward. So, toward you. So you'd have to pull it open. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And I, as I do that, I will step back, revealing uh, mostly Sir Luke, but a little bit me, but mostly Sir Luke. Okay. You stand behind the door. Is that the idea? Is that Pretty much. You? Okay. Like, like I pull it open, and you can. Yeah. No, I'm I'm leaving enough room for the the giant train person behind me to rush on in and fuck shit up if needed. Okay. Uh, so it opens that way. And you stand behind it. Sir Luke, you look outside as you see um, basically steps uh, that have been not cleared of snow. Um, but packed, uh, the snow seems to have been packed down onto them. Uh, it looks as though, um, yeah, there's there are kind of flecks of blood on the snow. Also that something has been kind of dragged in it. And uh, it it almost looks like somebody's somebody had a rather large pole that they were jabbing in the ground, um, as well alongside of whatever it is that was dragged. There's like a hole hey, in I'm the snow. I'm going to so move often. out and move relatively quickly in that direction of the. No, move absolutely the... quickly. I will be as yeah. quickly behind you as quickly yeah. can be. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Godric, as as you presumed, you see Luke come out the door. <laughs> so I just want to yell and, uh, oh, hey, guys, I, I saw a path in the snow. You see, a, you see a dwarf, Luke, <laughs> a dwarf up to his chest in snow as he wades through a snowdrift, making his way around well, the building. I'll simply nod at him, uh, you know, look at him, nod, and then I'm going to take off basically running in that direction to, uh, you know, at, least, well, at, at, at a speed where I can note where things are. So not so fast that I'm not being able to see things, but kind of at a, like a loping quick pace. Okay. Into the nearby woods. Yeah. Following the trail. Okay. Uh, the trail leads back to the road. Uh, this is basically the way the, uh, that uh, people would kind of bring the lumber here and they can walk around you know and come to the side door um if need be to do business um so the trail uh in this case leads to the road and the dragging seems to follow um the road away again okay, keep with, on with, on. with kind of like a that that whole Every so often being poked in the snow, even into the packed, the hard packed snow. And Senate, you said you were behind him, yeah? Yeah, as I run out the door, I'll scream out, Portland, this way. Okay. Gotrick, eventually you make it to the doorway after these guys have run off in that direction very quickly. They're much faster than you. Portland, do you, you, you do hear them yell back, Portland, this way. What, what are you doing now? Okay, um, so I'll move I'm... to that room. Oh, sorry. When they move to that room, are they out already gone before I get into the room? Uh, yeah. So but, uh, they, but the I door is they... hanging open. Right, so I literally hear a voice. I've been talking to myself. I hear a voice. My voice that I, I've been hearing is uh, one of, uh, of, of self-doubt that they have left me behind because they don't trust me. Yeah, so that's the you know, monologue I'm going to have with myself here. That uh, obviously they don't trust me. I'm a liability, right? Kind of situation, and uh, I'm, like the, I'm behind in on the pack, right? You know, my my good friend 
Sir Luke would never have left <laughs> me as he held me like a babe all the way over here and yet is not in this room any longer. And when I run into this room, or move, not run, when I move into this room after hearing Portland this way, there's no one in the room. And all I hear is the cold wind blowing through this open door. Is that what I'm getting here? Uh, well, you also see standing, you can just see the head of a of a dwarf that you recognize standing out through that door um right down the steps away as you can just see the top of his head and kind of his eyes as he looks back okay so um thankfully i'm wallowing in this despair and putting the back of my hand to my forehead ever so (laughs) so Um, melodramatically (laughs) exactly i see this glimmer of hope and uh I see. Do I see Gotrich like clearly? That this is obviously Gotrich. Yeah, it's obviously Gotrich. You just can't. Uh, yeah, you can't see more of him because he's there's steps leading down, and he's at the base of the steps, right? So. Okay, and uh, I st- start to uh, hear this voice in my head as I as I move towards the snow, and it says to me, "Go ahead, embrace the cold. Let it consume you." And I walk through the door. All right, Gotrick, you make your way to the path. You look back and you see Portland walking through the door melodramatically. Oh, hey, Portland. What did you find in there? There is a dead young lady in there. Her mouth was agape. What did you guys find? Well, I just saw Sir Luke and Senate following this path into the... uh, into the woods there's a little bit of blood on the path um so that's you know i think that's kind of where they were where they were headed to see if there was somebody that they could save what's did you see anything else in there or just that girl just the young lady she is quite deceased unfortunately oh i don't think i'm going to catch up with them so i'm going to probably come inside there just to stay warm Fair enough. I uh, I might go after them. They may need a third, depending on what this monster might be. I mean, may need to hold them down while these guys do their business. You sure you want to come with me? I just don't think I'd be able to keep up. By the time I get there, everything would probably be over. Well, I'm not. I only have much faster than you are, so we can go together. I can also cast What's... armor on you. You seem very, uh, I guess, vulnerable. Well, I don't have any. I don't have any weapons either. Did you see anything in there that I could use as a weapon? I didn't see any weapons I mean, if... either. Well, it was if, a sawmill. There's some a... saws in there. You could. Yeah. Yeah, like I was thinking of just getting like some saws, or even just like four well, by four post of wood. Well, there's also like hooks for hooking logs and stuff like that. You could probably use one of those. Or... Yeah, that guy from I know what you did last summer. There's probably an axe or two in there, which is very dwarf-like. Yeah. So I'll go in and get an axe and then say, okay, let's go. All right. I'm going to... Uh... Oh, it's one minute per level. When we get into trouble, I will cast some armor on you. Remind me, please. All right. Cool. And I'm also at this point. Sorry, I have something I want to do. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I don't like that. I don't oh no! Like everybody, the, you know, everybody's like cringing just on the other side of the microphone. Like, no, what's he gonna do? Shell. Oh, okay. Never mind. I have to wait till we're we're in May B four. Never mind. Wait, okay, I'm good then. I'm good for now. Let me guess. It's you. You create a ball of rock and you throw it with accuracy. Always no, wanted to do that. I was going that. to actually, asshole. I was <laughs> going to. Don't give him ideas. I was going to buff Gotrich here by life blasting him. Oh, life blast is him, cool. Yeah, Ooh. I was going to give him extra stats. Okay, I'm not a complete dick in this game. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Anyway, oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. Don't you feel stupid. (laughs) 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> then how many instances of just brazen violence and all red herring? He's been a good guy all along. Exactly. exactly. Maybe we were the monsters after all. No, well, the entire time. Not I after think all. we've been the, the monsters the whole was... damn time. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you just to say that you wanted to cast Fireball, and then when everybody complained, say that you were just going to melt the snow to make it easier for Gotrick to run. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, what if it all turned out to be just a oh, bad yeah. Portland yeah. dream? Yeah. Yeah. The best, thing is even, the best thing, I think, is that you are speaking to an invisible person at the moment at the same time. Oh, wait. Yeah, he couldn't have seen Portland. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. So just just fun fact: the very first time I ever played a role playing game was D and D, and I was I was given a, 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 a chaotic neutral mage to play, um, and I didn't quite understand the uh, uh, the dynamics of the game, and um, I got fireball, and I I, I I did cast it in a small room. Um, I, I once had the credit of killing more player characters than enemies. Well done. That's good. Well done. Yeah. Um, Glad to see you've kept that up. What version yeah, of D and D was, was that? Yeah, that was the save with World of Darkness. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. In my defense, I saved the city. Basically, ask Fireball on that house in Chicago. <laughs> actually, just Molotov cocktail. <laughs> it's kind of true, actually. It was. It was. Uh, it wasn't a Molotov oh. cocktail. I turned on the gas. Yeah, you turned and, the oven. You turned yeah. The whatever. Yeah. You killed all of the player characters except yourself. And I you saved the. And I saved the city of Chicago. So you're you welcome. You made a damn good showing at trying to kill my D&D character by just not killing anything else. Technically, oh, boo, fucking boo. <laughs> so Focus fire. Focus you fire. didn't kill us at the end of the day because we were in my like, tour. Yeah, board. yeah. It was a tour poor yeah. dream. Yeah, yeah. It was wreck yes. fun. Uh, yes. Any yes. case. So, Golgi, yes, which, which version of D&D did you first play? I believe it was... Uh, 2.0 or yeah it was, it was version 2 okay second edition yeah mm. same here that was the very first I ever played I think it was yep. yeah, second edition um, yep. cool alright so uh, yeah we'll kind of clear that up Gotrick you didn't see Portland come through the door but you had an interesting conversation I saw with him in, I, let's just say I saw him yeah and I called out to him or something you initiated yeah that's cool yeah alright so um yeah, you guys are there. Uh, Senate, Sir Luke, you quickly follow the very obvious path that um, moves down the road a, a little ways and then cuts into the woods. Uh, again, moving into the deeper snow, something is being dragged through the snow. Uh, looks like they have some sort of staff that they are pushing into the ground every so often. Or a bigger cane, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, yeah, the uh, trail stops, the the dragging stops kind of right where uh, the staff is pushed into the ground, although they, there's a hole there. You don't see a staff. but um, And, yeah, when you look ahead, what you see is the... Um, there's a lot of uh, spray of, like, a sprinklings of, like, dots of blood and stuff like that. Um, and a few um, holes in the snow... Uh, and then sp smashed, it looks like a smashed wooden box, the pieces of a smashed wooden box all over the place, like something, like it hit a tree and broke open and scattered the bloody contents, uh, which landed in the snow. Um, and it, it was thrown quite a distance um, from the spot where, where you uh, stand at the end of the dragged trail. Hey, do we see any trails moving off from then? Uh, well, uh, essentially, uh, the um, holes in the snow um, continue, um, although now a second hole in the snow um, appears along with it. So we're not seeing footprints anymore? There were never footprints. Oh, there was just this dragged thing with um, what appeared to be like somebody had pushed something into the snow. Uh, okay. Again, I'm gonna move. It's rather deep snow, right? It's not uh, yeah. not like just a light dusting of snow or anything like that. Pogo murderer on the loose. Yeah, Pogo. 
All right. Well, I mean, the bloody contents of the box. What are we... You can go out and investigate if you like. You can investigate all sorts of stuff. You investigate. I'm going to keep on the trail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll follow as best I can. It'll be easier to follow if you're basically digging a trench. Yeah. And I will go and investigate the exploded box. Okay. Cool. Um, Yeah. So Sir Luke, you will continue to follow that trail. And uh, Godric and Portland, you follow along as well. You come upon Senate digging around in the snow. Hello, Senate. And I'm going to jump out of my own... Sp- no, I can't, because I'm immune to fear. Never I was going to say, and you also have sixth sense. So, <laughs> if it were dangerous, you would have known. But, yeah. And I'll kind of look up, not see you, go back to what I'm doing and say, whatever it is we're chasing, it it's dragging something, someone... There's blood. Senate, do you have Luke, wilderness what? survival or Portland or tracking or anything like that? Uh, I, I should have wilderness have survival. Uh, I do have wilderness survival. Sir Luke, what about you? Do you have tracking or anything like that? I have... 55. I was at 55. I thought it was 95. Uh, 55 is your skill level. Yeah. I've got right. tracking and I've got... Wilderness Survival. So, yeah. Give me a tracking roll at minus... Is it is it tracking, or is it track animals, or what is it? It just says, It's just tracking. Okay, so that's a humanoids thing. So, yeah, you can give me that roll. Oh, but it sucks. But you did it. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's Wilderness Survival. Okay. All right, come on, Live come on. see another day. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nah, All right. Shelly? Gotrick, do you have anything along those lines? Tracking or? I have nothing along those lines. Okay, cool. So I, really I, have, wanted, I have jury, really jury rig, tunneling. I really wanted Golgotha to go with that. Good SNL skip. I really wanted Golgotha to turn into Marvin Tikva in that moment in time. <laughs> okay. On, cool. Come on. So, so Senate, what you notice is from your from your digging around before you're startled by Portland and Godric, um, or not startled, uh, is essentially it looks like <clears throat> as you get closer to the the dispersed um, bits that um, that animals have already been here. You can see animal tracks and the like. Um, uh, basically, you know this from your wilderness survival from trying to catch animals, right? That would be the, <laughs> the way the skill gives you that knowledge you see animal tracks coming through possibly coyote or wolf or some other um carnivore um and um yeah the um the bits um yeah whatever was there has been taken away and consumed some of it others other parts no you do find a few bits of of gnawed upon bone in the snow nearby um so a lot of kind of they're not the the nicest eaters, but they're you know they grabbed a piece and took it away, or or kind of took it over a little way ways further to gnaw on it and, and the like. So the bits have been kind of cleaned up by animals, uh, for the most part here. Um, yeah. So Luke, we're later to the party than we thought. Yeah, <clears throat> Sir Luke, you um, yeah, the, you follow the trail, uh as best you can um it seems to you kind of uh, once you get back to the road it loops back to the road once you're on the road um you see that it kind of basically follows the road back to the miller's house yeah okay i'm gonna race back to the house okay um portland gotrick senate we'll go portland gotrick what did you find there Sorry, you're asking me? Yes. I'm not actually sure what I found. It's been mostly eaten. I see. But I think we're a little later than we thought we were. So are we on a wild goose chase here? Or are we... What's the idea here? Uh, Where is Sir Luke? 
I would imagine following the path. Which one? The one on the right or the one on the left? And I'll gesture to the path he was heading on. Hmm. Is that... Why do you go that way? Is there a reason? Uh, well, there's... There's the way we came. There's this here. And then there's the path he went on. I don't know about the other path. Okay. I didn't think there was another path. Oh, I thought there was more path. Sorry. So... I mean, well, seeing that helps. these he are apparently him. human remains, it's probably worth trying to catch up with Sir Luke, and he should be pretty straightforward to follow. Do we think this is Jack that did? Or not Jack. Uh... Oh, Jamie? Jamie? I don't. Jim, I, I, I don't know because he didn't normally rock a cane, but he was pretty normally kind of violent and out there. So true, but he had to be pretty quick. Again, that's assuming we're. We were on time. I think this happened before we were involved. Probably while we were still in jail. What did you find? I found a dead young lady in the bed, in the other room. What did she look like? She had dark hair, her mouth was wide open, and she looked really dead. Does the description kind of match the vision I had? Um, kind of. Dark hair. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna okay. jump in and just say, why don't why don't we have this conversation back at the mill? Like we're out here freezing. Sir Luke already ran back. We should head back there. Wait, he already ran past us? No, he looped. He did a long, on. wide loop. So, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, but but he he went somewhere running. Hmm. Well, you wouldn't have seen me run, right? They would have seen you take off through the woods, probably. Like, oh. <laughs> they, they, like there's no leaves on the trees. There's no underbrush, right? So, oh, okay. yeah. you know, they might have seen you taking off on a far, but they don't know where you went necessarily. Oh, okay. But okay, should we go should... and find him? Because we have no idea where he. He could be in. Probably not a bad idea. And I'll kind of make a mental note of where we're mm -hmm. at. Yeah. So that when I need to come back here later. Yeah, it shouldn't be hard to get back here. That's. Not... So uh, we'll say that you follow Luke's obvious trail and loop back to the the Miller's place as well. Luke, you're there. You have a f some time before they make it uh, to you. What would you like to do? All right. Um, so what I would like to do is I would like to... Were there any rooms that... Uh, any rooms that uh, we didn't look at? Not really. You guys were... I mean, you haven't been into the bedroom. And you haven't been in well, the kitchen. So I'll, be in the, been I'll in go into the kitchen. Okay, so you head back inside. All right. Uh, kitchen looks to be um, like it's kind of um, been rooted through. Looks like something was up on the counters, digging around through the cupboards and things like that. Um food and and such uh seems to have been left out and consumed to a degree None i'm gonna it's open up any, anything any cupboards that are on the like that oh, everything's hiding. everything's wide open like all the cupboards okay. are wide open yeah okay um is there there's none upstairs is there no okay um What other room can I look at? Um, all right, so I'm going to go back to the. I'm going to go back to the living room. Okay, you're standing in the living room now. Is there a chimney? Yeah, got there's a fireplace. a fireplace and a chimney. Yeah. I'm going to look up the chimney. Okay. Um, cool. So you take a peek up the chimney. Uh, it's rather dirty. And the like. Um, and yeah, you hear something move back in the room. Yeah. Turn around. Uh, you have to come out of the chimney. You're like you're literally yeah. like looking up in there. Yeah. So you come out yeah, of the yeah. fireplace. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, you uh, uh, give me a quick perception check just to see if 
you can catch the movement. Uh, you heard right. it. That's that was. Yeah. So you're you're cued toward. Yep. Yeah, you just um, make something out moving into the kitchen. Move into the kitchen. Okay. You head over to the kitchen real fast, and. Uh, yeah, do you you don't have sixth sense or anything like that? I do not know. Okay, give me an initiative check. Oh, here we go. I'm bad. Initiative. Oop, do I have to click on my character? Uh, it always helps if you do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, you go first. You see, as you come in, the door to the kitchen kind of gets pushed closed behind you. And there is, is James T on the counter, uh, balancing on his hands and he pushes off his hands to try. Well, he looks like he's about to jump at you. And, All right. And that is where we will end this episode. So, uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for tuning in. If, uh, you like what you heard, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed we really appreciate any comments uh you can join us on our discord we're on twitter x uh yeah we'd love to hear from you uh we appreciate everybody that uh, tunes into our episodes and supports this channel so i'm magnum pi i'm here with teku golgi vahilo and dark templar and as always we are initiative zero <laughs> <laughs>